Welcome to sixth grade math. My name is Mr. Jacobs, and I'm going to be your teacher this year, and I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's time we get back to the classroom. Hey, guys, I'm going to quickly show you every single lesson you're going to learn this year. Are you ready? Okay, put on your seatbelt. Here we go. Okay, guys, in topic one, you're going to add, subtract, multiply decimals. You're going to divide whole numbers and decimals. You're going to multiply fractions. And now we're on topic two. You're going to understand integers, positive and negative whole numbers. You're going, to, you're going to find the absolute value of rational numbers. You're going to represent rational numbers on the coordinate plane. We're going to use those absolute values to find the distance and represent polygons on the coordinate plane, just like that. And now we're off to topic three with exponents. And then greatest common factor and least common multiple. The numerical expressions and algebraic expressions down here. Equations like algebra and inequalities. Topic five over ratios, um, equivalent ratios, comparing ratios, graphing ratios. Oh, and don't forget rates and unit rates and comparing unit rates, solving unit rate problems. And you're off to topic six, percents. And my personal favorite, percent of a number. Topic seven, one of my personal favorites, area, uh, volume, and surface area. Here you can see some nets to find the surface area. And good old volume. Topic eight, our very last topic, data analysis here. These are some box plots. And frequency tables here. Oh, wow. Variability in the mad. That's the mean absolute deviation. And our last lessons right here. Hey, those pages I just showed you are, are like a quick example and review of each topic. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about Envision, which is our uh, new math program. So Envision is like the wave of the future, 21st century learning. So I'm going to do the lessons on the smart board. And you'll have a companion guide that you can take notes in and, and do the problems in as well and really help you understand it. Also, all the example problems are right there in, in your book. Then we have the online component, which is really cool. So you'll have some practice problems and they're, they're about maybe 15 per lesson. And I differentiate that. If, if that may be too much for you, for you right now, I can, I can adjust. To you. I guarantee you, no more than 20 or 30 minutes a night. So if, you, if you're working every night and you have a structured routine to work on your math and vision, and if you're working 20 minutes a night and for some reason you're not finishing it, I can adjust your list and make sure. That's my guarantee to you because family is really important, okay? And your time at home is your time. I am a huge supporter of extracurricular activities and, and doing all the... Um, you know, education is so important, right? And if you're not getting it, you might have to put a little more effort in. But if it's if it's becoming too overwhelming and you're spending hours and hours a night, I don't want that. A lot of you will finish it during class, which is which is uh, really really nice. So then you can enjoy your time at home. Then we'll have a quiz for each lesson. Now for the quiz, I do assign some additional practices, and they're optional and they'll help you study for your quiz. Actually, I get a lot of the quiz questions from there, hint, hint. So if you miss a problem on Envision, don't worry. It's only wrong if you quit. So you can hit similar exercise. So you can get a similar problem and then get it right and then get 100% on the, on the um, assignment. Uh, if, if I were you parents, I would say, hey, there's no excuse to score less than 100%. That's what I would say. 
maybe it's at 90% because some of the questions are really challenging. And that's good, it's, you know, it's good to be challenged. I, I firmly believe challenge leads to, challenge and struggle lead to new learning and growth. So, so let's not get all caught up that, that some of the questions are really hard. I like that, I like that. And, and boy, it is so cool when a student overcomes it, they go, yeah, and they're like, yeah. I usually take a picture, I send it to their mom on Class Dojo just because it's like a proud moment that like your son or daughter like overcame this really hard problem and they showed like grit and resilience and they didn't give up. Oh, that's the best, man. So yeah, there, there are some challenging uh, problems on Envision. They're kind of even challenging for me at times. And if, if you're a parent at home, hey, no shame. This, this is starting to get really high where if you're not like exposed to it every day, uh, you might remember, you might not remember. You, you might feel, you might be feeling like, I wish I could help my child more, but don't worry, I'm here. So every single assignment that I'm asking the students to do, I've done myself. And I talk the students through every single question and I prompt them with questions. It's like having a private tutor. So have you ever wanted to have a, like a private tutor sit with your child while they're doing their work? Well, you just turn on one of my videos that I spend a lot of time making and I go over each and every question. Now, they're not the same questions that your child has. They're similar questions. So Envision has a huge bank for every type. Like number one on an assignment, they might have 20 different versions of that number one that all kind of follow the same format with like different numbers. So the main assignments on Envision, because you'll get an Envision to-do list and it will look like a lot of assignments because some of them are optional. So the, the ones that are mandatory that I put in progress, they're called practice and problem solving. So it will verbatim say practice and problem solving. So we'll start off with 1-1, practice and problem solving. Math Excel, it will say that in there too. Now you'll also notice on the Envision list, which it might say overdue and you might be like, oh no, you didn't do this. But don't worry, it might say additional practice. It might say 1-1 additional practice. Those are optional. They're just extra practice problems for you to help study for the quiz and help study for the test. I mean, uh, uh, there's, there are only eight topics that we're gonna learn this year. So only eight tests. So when you get to a test, students should probably study for it. But how should you study? Well, you could go back and do those additional practices. You could save those additional practices to study before a test because it might we might be on topic one for an entire month and you might forget what we did in 1-1 or 1-2. And that way those additional practices are there to do it. They might say overdue and that's okay. So here's what I put in the grade book. Practice and problem solving, lesson quizzes, and the lesson retakes are optional, but I'll take the higher grade of those. And the topic tests or the topic assessments. And I have so many videos online going over every component. I really am trying to go above and beyond to make this the best possible year for, for you guys. All right, so how do we get to Envision? Okay, so students sign into their Google account. And I'll put that on the bottom of the screen like an example cup. Okay, so you go to milfordschools.me, milfordschools.me, and then you go to the waffle, and then you go to elementary start page, then you go to Pearson Realize right here. Of course, we don't have anyone in yet. And then everything's gonna show up here. Hey, <laughs> you made it at the end of the video. Hey, we're gonna try to still have a lot of fun this year. We're gonna stay safe and precautious, and uh, we're gonna learn a lot. My name is Jason Jacobs, and I look forward to meeting you soon. I'm pretty busy now. Oh, boy. See you later.